Andrea says, my brothers always told me to pay your own way, even though I am old fashioned, I took their advice. Is that wrong to do nowadays? No. I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? Like I said, 90% of men expect that they're going to have to pay for the date. You know, how that makes them feel is a completely different thing. And what kind of expectations are created? Like you even heard Dean talk about this earlier where he was like, Oh, you know, like, does that mean that, you know, it's expected that you're going to have sex with me. Right. And there's a bunch of guys that'll say and think and feel stuff like that because they don't want to be used. And you know, it's, it's the two sided use thing, right? Men, uh, often get used for financial resources or emotional resources by women and women often get used by, uh, uh, for sex by men. Right. And that's, that's just, it's what happens. And so you have to realize that, that some men are going to have that weird expectation there. And if you, you know, but there's a lot of benefits to him paying and, you know, you should expect that you should pay, but my suggestion is that you don't insist. So expect that maybe you should, but don't insist that you do. If he tries to pay for you and he's like, Hey, no, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Let him pay. That's my suggestion. If, if after that he gets all weird about sex and all that other kind of stuff, you know, just leave him and never talk to him again because he's, he's trying to leverage it to get something from you. And that means that he's being manipulative, which is a really, really bad sign, especially early on. Right. It might, might even be a good test for you to let him pay and then find out if he tries to be manipulative with you. <laughs> 